Hi, this is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids, and I'm here on the USC practice field with Dion Bailey. I talked to you during your freshman year, and you told us that coming to USC was the payoff of all your hard work. Today, when you step on the field, is it still all the payoff for your hard work, or is there any change in your emotions? Uh, no, it's still the same. I mean, it's even greater now, the experience under Coach Ogeron. These last uh, six, six or seven games we played under him, it's been a great experience. It's really enhanced my whole experience here. It's pretty much what I've been looking forward to uh, when I committed here under when Pete Carroll was a coach. So, I mean, it's, been a, it's really enhanced my experience these last couple of weeks. Here at UC, USC, you've played multiple positions. What do you attribute to your versatility? I mean, I just I line up and I do whatever the coach tells me, and it just so happens that over the past four years of me being here, coach has told me to play three different positions, and I've been able to succeed pretty pretty well at all three. So I mean, hopefully that helped me at the next level. Coach O has tried to bring more fun to the program. Does fun lead to winning, or does winning lead to fun? Uh, fun definitely leads to winning. When you when you have a team that that's not always looking over their shoulder, worried about what the head man is going to have to say. Coach O just really wants us to go out there and enjoy our experience. He always preaches just enjoying the college experience because it's not going to last forever. Whether you, you're here for four years, three years, or five years, like it's going to come to an end. Like You're going to have to leave college sooner or later, so you might as well just have the best time of your life now because nothing, nothing else in the world is like it. So he's really, uh, he's really tried to uh, emphasize that and, and do things to help us enjoy our experience more, and it, it's paid off well. There's several former Trojans who are in the NFL, Clay Matthews, Troy Polamalu, just to name a couple. How does that motivate you when you come out onto the practice field? Uh, it always motivates us to uh, play well and, and uh, you know, have good results for the players that have played here before. So we're not just representing ourselves, we're representing the entire Trojan family. If we go out there and lose every single game, I mean, how is Troy going to be able to walk around his NFL locker room? Like, how is TJ McDonald going to walk around his NFL locker room? Like, so that's something that always goes through our heads. Like, we, we have to uh, play for the former players, former greats that's been here. So, you know, it puts a, a bigger chip on your shoulder. You got a lot to, a uh, lot, big shoes to fill, but we've been able to do so do okay so far since I've been here so hopefully we can just keep it going. Can you describe what the feeling's like to run through the tunnel with 98,000 fans cheering and screaming for you? Uh, it's crazy. The experience uh, we had on Saturday that was the best experience I had in the Coliseum since I've been here. I mean it was rocking, it was sold out, was a bunch of people, everybody was there early. I mean it was just a, a really a college football experience, one that you like see on TV or like you see in the SEC. Like it was very it was very SEC-ish, and I mean, that was just a great experience for guys that, that came, chose to come to California. Well, thank you for your time, and good luck the rest of the season. No problem. Thank, thank you. you. This is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids. Hey, kids, let's talk sports. Thank you very much. No problem, man. You, know, you got, got a bright future in this uh, broadcasting thing, man. Keep doing what you're thank doing. Thank you.